to get to to it real quick with the fight, you know, the stuff had happened the night before with Chad and and uh, you know, we went to we were wrestling in Mexico City and that night it was on the card, it was showing all the matches, and then it said um it was basically our match and it was um instead of saying the dicks, it said a dick and a pussy versus uh, I think it was the Mexicals. So, or either that or, uh, you know, uh, London and Spanky or something, but probably Mexicals. Um, but anyway, regardless. Uh, so I remember we were wrestling in the ring and every time I'd go in, I'd be wrestling, I'd do my thing, I'd tag out. Chad would go in and over the over the loudspeaker, you would hear a baby crying at, every time he got in the ring. You just hear, wah, wah. And oh my gosh, it was like, and I know the boys in the back were probably losing it. Obviously, it was something that the Undertaker or one of the top guys had, you know, told the sound guy to to put through the speakers. Uh, so that was, it was something. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that's happening during a live show. It's crazy. Um, and I remember seeing Steamboat, who was our agent for that match, uh, sitting over there on the sidelines, just losing it, just cracking up. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, so that happened. And then so that night I was like, okay, well, hopefully that's just the last of it and we can be done with this this uh this this uh, horrible trip to Mexico. Um and uh sure enough, I was in bed for 20 minutes and I get a call on the phone from Benoit and and they're and he's like, Hey, Tank, I'm coming up to get you. Your boy's at it again. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. So Benoit comes to my room, gets me, and we go down to the this big this big uh, uh, banquet room where we had all of our pr- private catering. And and now instead of it just being a few of the guys, it was the TV crew, the whole, everybody, all the, all pretty much, I think all the workers, like, you know, all the, every of the crew, everybody, everybody was there. And on all these tables, you saw, it was weird. You saw piles of money in the middle of these tables. And I was like, what the hell? And once again, there's one seat open at the main table for yours truly next to Undertaker. And uh, once again, I was like, mind if I sit here? Oh, go ahead. So I sit down. Mind if I have a beer? Oh, go ahead. Now they started off hot and they're like, Chad, you guys got to settle this right now. Chad's already, you know, got a few in him. And uh, I think he's now saying, okay, I got to do something. I got to prove myself. And, uh, you know, and I'm like, what the hell? So he starts chirping at me and, uh, and I'm like, Chad, chill out. I was like, I was like, you don't have to do this. You can just calm down, relax, you know, don't let them get to you. Cause at this point I'm just saying like, look, don't let them get to you. You, you know, I'm just, I, before I would just shut up and I'm like, don't let these boys get to you. I was like, just don't put it over. I was like, that's your problem. You're, you're putting it over. He's like, no tank. I got to stand up for myself and blah, blah, blah. He's like, you're not going to tell me what to do anymore. And now so I'm sitting there and I have a beer in my hand and I just, I'm taking a sip of it. And I'm like, Chad, relax, relax. And I'm like rocking back on my, on two, on my two legs of the chair. You know how you rock back in the chair and I'm taking a drink. And as I take a drink, wham, he hits me and I go flying off the back of the chair. I basically do a, a roll, a back roll. And next thing you know, he's got me in a front fl- fl- face lock. And as he has a, me in a front face, lock, I'm like, I'm like, damn it, Chad. I said, damn it, Chad. Now I got to freaking hit you. And so as I, I'm, I'm getting up, I get up and I get out of the, the, uh, the front face lock and I push him. I'm like, I'm like, you idiot. And I just gave my, I gave him a quick, like, bam, I just a quick smack across the face. I was like, knock it the fuck off. I'm not going to lose my job because of you. I'm not going to do this, you know, cause I didn't want to get in trouble. And, uh, as stupid as it sounds, I mean, like, I didn't want to get heat from the office. It's more important than, you know, getting heat from the boys. I mean, uh, obviously. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so basically when I did that, they all thought it was hysterical. They're like, Chad, they're like, Chad, you cheap shot and motherfucker. They're like, you got, you got, you hit tag. And then he got up and smacked you right back in the face like a bitch you are. And uh, and everybody thought it was hysterical, and 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 uh, JBL's laughing his ass off on the other side of Taker, and he's like, "Oh, oh Tank, oh, 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 oh Tank, oh man, oh, I gotta cheers you on that one, man. Oh, come on." And I'm like, Shh. I was like, I was like, Chad, Chad, uh, Chad knocked the beer out of my hand. I don't know. He's like, 
Undertaker's like, you have mine. I'm like, all right. So I'm going to 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 cheers JBL because if I don't, you know, I'm gonna catch heat. Um, and so as I go to ch- as I'm going to give him the cheers, I see out of the corner of my eye, I see Chad getting ready to wind back and hit me again. And I he's like this, and I and I look at him, I'm like, and he goes, he goes like this, he goes, he has the audacity to go, psych. <laughs> and everybody lost her. They're like, psych, they're like, psych, you're about to cheap shot him again. He's he's like, ah, nah, I'm just playing. And I'm like, oh my God. So I just shake my head head and I'm just like, all right, whatever. I go to to um to uh cheers JBL because I had to still do that. And as I go to do that, boom, he catches me. He catches me, he hit me again. And as he hit me again, I stumble back a couple paces. I'm like, son of a bitch. I said, now I gotta whoop your ass. And so he starts begging off, like doing his big best Ric Flair imitation. Talk about like that kind of shit. And he's like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And I'm like, no, we're not. And so unfortunately I had to hit him. So I bopped him three times. I hit him. First shot was first shot was right in the lip, put his teeth through his lip. Second shot, I broke his nose. Third shot, I hit him right in the, uh, in, in the eye. And, uh, and, and he went down cold. And uh, that was it. And, that, and by that point, I just think I lost it. And I just jumped on top of him. I was going to, going to put a pattern on him and uh because i was just so mad at that point and uh and they pulled me off him real quick and he was just bloodied up and, and a white a white button down shirt of course of all things so just looked like a bloody mess um and uh and he's like you know they pick him up he's half freaking conscious and they're like and uh they're the, the guys are like get him the fuck out of here like get him get him out of here so jamie noble and i think matt hardy dragged them off to his room and uh, they came over to me and uh, all of a sudden they just, they, they came up to me and they handed me these piles of money, which apparently I guess the bets, they, these were bets on the table. How long would the fat fight last? Who would win? Blah, 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 blah. And they gave me this big wad of money and they said, here, Tank, you deserve this. You're one of the boys. We love you, but we can't stand your partner. And, uh, and I was like, shit. And I looked down at my hand and my hand had a, uh, a huge gash in it and I could see the bone and I had torn a ligament and uh, it broke my finger. I got a boxer fracture and, uh, and luckily seeing that everyone was there, uh, the doctor at the time was there and he goes, I had a feeling something was going to happen. And he goes, all right. He goes, let me take a look at it. He's like, yeah, you tore, you tore a tendon. He goes, who here wants to see me do a tendon repair? And of course all the boys are like, yeah, I do. I do. And so uh, the funny part uh, is it uh, was, I was, I was actually scared to get the needle into my <laughs> into my hand for the Novocaine for them to do the repair right there. Uh, so, which was, of course, more in Mexico City. It's a banquet room. I just punched someone in the face and their teeth, I put his teeth through his bottom lip, which what cut my finger open. So, of course, this is sanitary. So, he, he repairs the tendon right there in front of all the boys watching.